YouTube. I'm Lane Henry. You're watching May Films and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a My Hygiene Routine 2020 plus tips on staying fresh. And basically, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do like um, a hygiene routine or show me your beauty products video or like perfume collection. A lot of you guys been have asking me stuff like that. So I thought like, why not just combine it all and just let you guys know my hygiene routine and how I stay clean and then the products I use so basically um I have a lot of products here but I don't these not all these products I get every single month like oh it's it's a for sure routine sometimes products are on sale and I just want to try them out um sometimes my mom buys different products and then I buy my own products so like it's just a bunch of stuff that I'm just trying out some stuff I always use some stuff I'm still figuring out whether I like it or not so I'm just showing you guys what I'm using as of right now and I'm gonna let you guys know like the stuff that I use on the regular so yeah let's get into the video I'm gonna be starting off with teeth I'm not gonna do um skincare in this video because that's for a totally other video and I really want to like show you guys my skincare routine in depth because that uh, that's like my most requested video is a skincare routine so yeah we're gonna be starting off with teeth so what I use to brush my teeth is this crest pro health advanced sensitive and enamel show Plaque Tartar Whitening and Freshest Breath. So this is how it looks. Excuse my nose, by the way. We're in quarantine. But basically what this does is just it keeps your teeth white. And me, personally, um, I eat a lot of candy, eat a lot of junk food. So it helps um, keep your enamel there and repair enamel that's slowly going away. So yeah, that's just that. And then as far as mouthwash, I use the Crest Scope Mouthwash Outlast. And this is how it looks so this just makes this just cleans your breath it is like it's very refreshing it leaves your breast very minty and um very clean so next to whiten my teeth I use this natural bamboo charcoal toothpaste and it's by the brand Ninian And you can use this like twice a week or have many, as many times you want out of the week to just brighten up your teeth and keep them white and to start instant. You start. you can you do you can the teeth from like standing and everything. So then for floss, this is just like a backup floss. We actually ran out of toothpicks, so I'm just showing you guys just this old backup floss that I have in my dresser. I just want you guys to know that it is important to floss. I usually use the um, ones where you can grab them by your hand and just really get the stuff out of your teeth. So the next category we have is body care. And I use a lot of different things on my body. So I'm going to separate them um, into like categories. So the first category I have is called the get clean soaps. These are the soaps that is gonna really get you clean after a long day get the dirt off you the oil and really strip your skin of all like the nasty stuff that's been put on your skin throughout the day so for my get clean soaps i have this dr bronner's 18 and 1 health almond pure castle soap and basically i don't regularly use this one i regularly use the blue one but of course it's quarantine and all the stores are out of the blue one so I decided to try the new almond one but I'm gonna describe the blue one to you guys and put like a picture on the screen since that's the one I use that like y'all the Dr. Bronner soaps are like the holy grail the god the Mary Jane of all the soaps like have you ever really been clean? Like you haven't really been clean until you use like the Dr. Bronner soap. So I'm gonna talk about the blue one since that's the one I use. So the blue one, like it gets it gets you so clean to the point where you know how people say your teeth are not truly clean until you can um, scrape them with your finger and you hear that like rubber <laughs> sound. So that's the sound that it leaves on your body. Like you can touch your body and like your body will literally have the tire rubber sound. That's how squeaky clean it is after using Dr. Bronner soap. And then it's like you can feel yourself getting clean because it had um, the one I use is blue. It's mint. So it you your body really feels like I'm gonna try to describe it the best way I can. You guys know how it feels when you chew some like um really minty gum like like polar ice or spearmint or something like that and you put it in your mouth or like a cough drop and you put it in your mouth and then when you inhale air it's that really cold and icy feeling inside your mouth well that's how the soap feels in your body so you literally feel yourself getting clean like 
this soap is no joke unfortunately i, tr I tried this one one time because I, like I just got it i usually use the blue one but i'm getting right now i tried it one time and it doesn't really have the best smell it just smells like really like almondy a little bit but it didn't have the best smell but i do feel really clean after using it so they have they have three different ones they have a purple one a blue one and a green one and they serve i guess different purposes but i usually go with the blue one but i'm just trying this green one out because i don't have the blue one but it really gets you clean too it doesn't have the best smell and it doesn't give you that real um that real clean cold feeling that the other one gives you but it's still good so this is a high recommend so my next get clean soap is the dove cool moisture beauty bar and this is the cucumber one and I recommend any Dove soap to get clean with. You just put it on your loofah and you put some water on it and you just scrub in circular motions all around your body. You know Dove smells really good. It works really good. It gets you really clean and it moisturizes your skin very well. So that's just that. So next, this is what I would like to call my clean but smell good soap. So basically these soaps that I'm about to show you guys, they get you clean, but they're also really known for their scent and how they make you smell. So these work just as good as the other ones. It does get you clean, but it really is for the smell as well, if that makes any sense. So these are the two I use, and this is the Caress 12-Hour Fragrance Technology Love Forever, Forever Body Wash. Oh my God, y'all, it smells so good. This is how it looks. And another thing that I like about this soap is that like, you know how regular soaps are like, they're like white and foamy. This soap has like this very deep, high violet pigmentation. So like when you put it on your body, like you just feel like a goddess, like, I don't know. But this soap, it smells so freaking good, y'all. So this soap, and then I have this St. Ives Hydrating Body Wash Coconut Water and Orchard Soap. And it's another one. It, it has a more subtle smell, but it smells really good and very simple but good and this is another soap that it gets you clean but it makes you smell really good so these are my clean but smell good the next thing that i use on my body is this body scrub and basically this is like an exfoliator it exfoliate exfoliating helps your skin so much like if you exfoliate before you shave or before you wash up it just makes um your skin so much smoother and more flawless like it changes the whole shaving game so what i'm using is this soap and glory smoothie oat sugar and shea breakfast scrub and this is how it looks and this is not like those regular exfoliators that come with the with the beads that don't really do nothing like these beads are really hard and they scrub really good and it doesn't honestly it doesn't smell the best it smells like old honey or like old maple syrup. But honestly, I like that it really doesn't have that much of a smell because then it doesn't clash with so many other soaps and stuff that I use in my routine. So I recommend you exfoliate at least three times a week or you can exfoliate every day and especially before you shave. So this is what I use. Next soap that I use is this body clear body wash pink grapefruit for neutrogenia and it's to clear body breakouts it's not for a smell or to get clean or anything it's simply to treat like chest acne and back acne and just body acne in general so it works really good i've been using it for a minute now i get real like i get a lot of pimples around my chest area so um I actually like the other one better. It's actually orange and it has more beads in it, but they ran out. So I so I had to get this one. I've just been using this one ever since. But if you struggle with body acne, I definitely recommend um something like this to help you guys out. The last thing that I use, like basically for washing up in the shower, these are called my smell goods. So basically the these products are products that you know you you wash up with the good soaps first and then you go in with a shower gel for just smell purposes you do not wash up with shower gels or like soap that's solely made for the purpose of smelling good you go you wash up with your good soaps first and then you use your shower gel or like your scented soap after so basically what i use are this fruit boost zest smoothie body scrub with natural apricot seeds and it's the very berry scent and all zest products smell really good like they have a real real high smell to them so this is how it looks and this also has like little beads in it so i guess it can act like act as an exfoliator because it is a body scrub but i really just use it for a scent because it makes me feel really good but i mean it makes me smell really good so that's that and then or i use my mat um 
shower gel and this is the magic in the air bath and body works shower gel this is how it looks mm, it smells really good and i have the lotion to this and the perfume so if you want to smell really good you just use all three of them together so that so that completes what i use in the shower the next thing we're going to discuss is what i use to shave and my lady area and um how do i keep down there fresh and just my routine i use down there on we're gonna give her name we're gonna call her Tallulah. so the soap i use on my Tallulah is this dove sensitive skin fragrance free hypoallergenic beauty bar and this is just i have it opened already because of course i was using it but it's just this plain white original dove scent bar and it doesn't have no smell and that's the point you're not really supposed to use well you're not supposed to use scented soaps down there because the vagina clean well our tulula our 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 tulip cleans itself and the the chemicals from the scented body washes will throw your ph balance off and you don't want that and then that ultimately ultimately will result in you having an odor so all you need is warm water and a little bit of unscented soap and that does the job you don't need any extra soaps down there and if you are experiencing um, a kind of an odor, a stronger odor, and you feel like soaps are not doing nothing, and you feel like you need to use a scent of soap, then I just um, I just recommend you just go see your gynecologist and see what's wrong down there because it can be smelling like that for various of reasons. Like as females, it doesn't even mean you're mean you're dirty, but as females, our bodily our body tends to change a lot, and we go through a lot of different stuff. So. You just have to check up down there at all times. Only other thing I use down there are wipes. However, I don't have wipes right now because I ran out. But this is just what I'm using right now. I keep it in my purse. And this is the Go On The Go Flushable Cleansing Claws with Soothing Aloe. And it's alcohol free. So it's it's not bad for you. But this is the only, these are the only things that I use down there. And the only things I will ever use. So now let's talk about shaving. First, before I shave i i let down there soak in like the hot water you know you don't you don't immediately get into the shower and or bath and start shaving you have to let the pores open use warm water let the pores open down there then i go in with this bot this exfoliating scrub i exfoliate down there real good but make sure you're only doing the outside not the inside just the outside you exfoliate real good down there then these are the ray razors i shave with i shave with men razors because they work the best and these are this is how the pack looks these are the big twin select sensitive skin shavers they come with 10 in them and they say for men so these are the razors i look i use then to shave i'm about to put you guys on so to shave i use aloe vera gel baby oil gel and shaving gel so basically what i do is i know they look so ran down but I, I really use these for real guys like these are my best friends these shape these change my shaving life like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so what i do is i created a little mixture myself and in this jar smells so good but in this jar i have the aloe vera gel this is a Tropic Sun aloe vera gel made with 100% pure aloe. I use aloe vera gel. This baby oil gel, I believe it's by, this baby oil gel, I believe it's by Johnson & Johnson. And then, so I use the baby, I squirt some aloe vera gel in here. I use the baby oil, I put the baby oil gel in here. And then I use a, um, a drop of vitamin E coconut oil. So that's all that's in this mixture. And basically what I do is I grab my shave gel. This is this personal care shave gel. It's kind of like an all-brand shave gel and I got it from Dollar Tree. But I feel like since I use aloe vera and baby oil gel, I don't need no really expensive kind of like shave mousse or shave cream because I feel like the main ingredients which make with that make that product good is aloe vera gel. Like if you look at the best um the best kinds of shaving creams and stuff, their ingredients say aloe vera gel. So since I feel like I'm using the foundation of it, I don't need no expensive really, you know, shave cream because this gel is the job for me. So I've just been using this shave gel. It's just a dollar and dollar tree and it's been working for me really well. I just take aloe vera gel, take the baby oil, then take some of the shave cream and then I then I mix it all together and I begin to shave. And honestly guys, um I suffer from really bad razor bumps at a point of time and ever since I've been using this like it changed the game like and it makes it really smooth down there and every day when I get out the shower I put this mixture on there and um 
in weeks you will really start to see results i'm not now i'm saying you have to put it on consistently i put it on after i get out, the out after every day out after i get out the shower i put it on and sometimes before i go to sleep this and it this also not only did it start clearing up my razor bumps and everything down there and make my skin down there really smooth but it also started lightening that area so basically what i'm saying is remember in here we have aloe vera gel a, um, a squirt of vitamin e coconut oil and baby oil gel i'm telling you a lifesaver like so next the next category is the after shower slash smelling good so after i get out the shower basically what i use is i don't use this often but i started to use this sometimes somebody gave it to me like as a birthday gift or something but what this is is this avon skin so soft original bath oil spray and after you get out the bath or shower you just put it on and it makes your skin feel very moisturized and you just feel really um smooth and just clean and it just gives you a different type of feeling although it really doesn't smell the best it kind of smells like old lady or like you know like funeral home like you know how that smells like that real flowery and just weird scent but it's okay ladies we have to start not just start focusing on smelling good but feeling good too it's not just how we smell it's how we feel like it's you can't sometimes you have to make sacrifices for good hygiene and this really moisturizes your skin good and has you feeling good and then you can just throw a perfume on over it or anything like that so let's focus on how we feel and not just how we smell get this bath oil you all highly recommend the next thing that i use as moisturizer is this i'm not really too big on like lotion and everything but this lotion that i do like is this johnson cotton touch newborn face and body lotion and oh my god it smells like sweet cucumbers it smells really good and this is how it looks it'll really have your skin feeling like a baby though y'all like so that's that the next thing that I use is this Magic in the Air Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. And I don't put this all over my body, only sometimes when I'm really trying to smell good when I go places. But that's the key, using um, a shower gel that's consistent with the shower lotion. And then, I mean, a shower gel that's consistent with the body lotion that's consistent with the perfume. So when you use the whole set, that's really how you um, stay smelling good. But basically what I do is I just put a little bit of this on my arms. So that I make sure I really smell good. that I use after lotioning up after I get out the shower are my deodorants. Now, I have two different kinds of deodorants here. Honestly, I use a bunch of different kinds of deodorants because I have yet to find a good deodorant that really works for me. So this does work, though. I have this Arm & Hammer Essentials Natural Deodorant, and it's free of, of aluminum, so you know it doesn't cause cancer and stuff because that's the best kind of deodorant to use. And this is the Fresh Rosemary one. I really started using this brand because um, I used to suffer from really sweaty underarms. Like, it doesn't matter if it was cold outside. I would get those, like, them real big wet spots under my underarms. And any deodorant that I would use would cause that until I started using the Arm & Hammer. So, if you have sweaty, um, really sweaty, moisturized underpits, I recommend you use Arm & Hammer. The only bad side to this deodorant is that it makes you smell musty like i'm never musty but when i use this it makes me smell musty if you like after a few hours that's why i don't really like to use it and then i have to use my i think i think all gels really do that though i think all gel deodorants really make you smell a little bit musty because they're wet and then the powder ones really conceal the must or whatever so basically i just use these it depends on the occasion and where i'm going i use these two this is the lady speed sick invisible um dry and then the arm and hammer essentials but i mean if you keep some baby wipes in your bag and then throughout the day you just um um clean your underarms or like wet a paper towel clean your underarms then put more um deodorant on then you should be good but if you know a deodorant that doesn't make you um sweat down there and that also makes you smell really good let me know because i have yet to find out but those are the deodorants i use the next thing that i do out of the shower to smell really good are put on my perfumes so these are my perfumes well these are my favorite perfumes at the moment and basically what i use is the cow go and take me away hawaiian ginger fragrance mist this is one of the best scents you will ever come across like 
every time I use this scent, there's not one person that doesn't tell me I smell good. Like, I remember when I used to carry one around in my book bag. This is a brand new bottle, by the way, because I had to re-up for this video. But I remember I used to carry one around my book bag in school, and I used to always, like, spray it on me after class. And then, ooh! And then my teachers always used to be like, what are you using? Like, what smells so good? This smells like no other. Like, I don't even know how to describe it to y'all, but just get you some this smells like oh my god i can't i can't i can't even do like i really can't even do how good this smells another perfume i use um well this is not really perfume it's more of a body spray so if you're if you're going out i recommend using this perfume but if you're not you know staying home and just took a, a shower to just jump into bed i rec i recommend using a body spray and this is the hello beautiful bath and body works um body spray i'm pretty sure you guys know about this body spray it's very common you know in the beauty world but it smells really light and sweet and just fruity and i really love this scent it's one of my favorites i actually have a bunch of these i have the shower gel i have everything that comes with it so highly recommend the next perfume that i have is the victoria's secret pure seduction this is also another favorite this smell is undefeated oh my god it makes you just smell so classy and grown and i really use this when i go out it actually is my mother's but i be using it every day and then I have this Love Addiction Victoria's Secret Lotion. And I just paired these together. And it smells really good. Like the Victoria's Secret Lotion paired together smells really good. So the next tip that I have for like really staying fresh all day is using Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer. So if you don't know, now you know Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. They literally smell like you just put perfume on. Like if you if you don't have no perfume on, you put some Bath and Body Works um stuff on people in a room are going to turn and look like what smells so good because bath and body works has the best hand sanitizer so these are just two of them that i like to use i have a bunch but this is the peach bellini one and this is the fall lakeside breeze and after i get out the shower and put my perfume and my lotion on everything i go ahead and just squirt some um hand sanitizer on my hands and then that that also is a key to smelling really good throughout the day this other thing that I'm about to show y'all that's that keeps me smelling really good is this soap and glory hydrating hand cream called hand fruit called hand food y'all this is the best like oh my god it smells so fruity like fruity pebbles and it literally really does keep your hands moisturized and it smells really good so if you're somebody who struggles with like dry hands or just anybody, if you want to like have a perfume, um, I mean, have a lotion that you keep in your purse to um, make your hands less ashy and just moisturize your hands. I really recommend this Soap and Glory hand food um, lotion. It smells really, really good. It smells like a perfume and it stays on you for a minute. So that concludes my 2020 hygiene routine um i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i love making it i really love hygiene and hygiene products i have a whole bunch of products and these are just the products that i'm using right now and that they're my favorites um let me let me know your you guys favorite products that you've seen in this video products you may want to try products that you suggest for me to try or just products that you like in general let me know also make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video let me know what you guys want to see next and yeah see you guys in my next video bye Since this video was pre-recorded some weeks ago before I ended off, I would like to say rest in peace to George Floyd. We're going through a lot right now in the world and I just want to make sure all my subscribers are okay and to emphasize the importance of this movement. Even if you're not black, please stay involved, sign petitions, educate yourself, check on the black people around you. Um, I just want to say we're all equal and to stay safe. This moment is pivotal in history for us. I need everybody to stay focused. Um, keep fighting. Don't ever stop fighting for justice. Remain positive and just spread the word. Thank you.